Today I'm going to be showing you how to panel knit on the Centro knitting machine. If you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe and let's get into it. Today I'm going to be using the paint box yarn in this lovely pillar box red just so you can see clearly on camera. Plus it's such a lovely colour that I couldn't help use it anyway. The first thing you want to do is make sure that your machine is switched on the panel setting which is the top switch so just in case this is worn away on your machine. Top switch, bottom one is tube, P for panel, T for tube. Something that's quite interesting and to be aware of with the panel knitting is when you go round, as you can see, I cannot go further than this. So the 28th pin, the first, the second, and also the 47th are not in use. So when I crank round, you will see that it gets stuck. And also something to be aware of, this does not work in the panel setting. So again, I'm just gonna go back round so I can actually cast on. But if you get stuck and your machine will not crank forward, there's nothing wrong with your machine. It literally is just the panel setting. It's not particularly clear that that is how it operates. So we're back at the beginning. I'm gonna go to peg number three. So we don't have that issue. And I'm going to show you how to cast on. So to cast on, you want to make sure your yarn is hooked under the loop and just plonk your tail end in the middle. And it's very similar to how you'd cast on on the tube setting. So you want to make sure you go around the back of the pin and then underneath, around the back, underneath, around the back and then underneath the pin, around the back. The difference is, is you want to hook underneath one of these, I don't know what you call them, pegs maybe. So you'll have that loop form and that is the end of your panel. You also have that on the opposite side as well. So what you want to do is once you've got that loop, is just crank it so you can get clearly into the yarn holder and pop it in the tension cage. And I recommend doing this very slowly because even I still have problems with the panel setting and I think it's quite common that it's a bit temperamental. So we're gonna work really slowly and just make sure the yarn hooks underneath. And we wanna make sure the tension is really good on this as well. So I'm gonna go so slowly. Just making sure every peg gets the yarn. And continue. And after you've done a couple of rows, it does start to get a little easier. Especially if you've got the feet on the machine. This is how far we've gotten on the panel knitting. As you can see, this machine really is better suited to tube knitting. It doesn't give such a clean edge, but if you're making a skirt or stitching pieces together, you do not see this, so that's fine. But we've done a good couple of rows. So now I'm going to show you how to add stitches. So if you want to create a wider piece or a piece with shape. And it's really, really easy. So I've got to the point where my last stitch was and I've gone past it, catching the yarn, on the next two stitches. I'm going to make sure it just goes round and it loops back round and just make sure you keep the tension tight and it goes under the hooks, which I know I haven't got it in the holder yet, but I'm just gonna hold this tight, go back round, put that under. You definitely get into a rhythm of the panel knitting Again, would be easy if my machine wasn't wiggling around everywhere. But as you can see, it's really, really easy to add stitches. One of the worst things that can happen is that it can pop off on the end, which is obviously what has just happened. So I'm just gonna grab my crochet hook and loop. Keep hold of that loop so I don't lose it. And just hook that back underneath. But it's important these things are shown because it happens and then you don't know what to do it. So simply just grab your crochet hook and loop underneath. And 
and I need to make sure now that that goes under here. And since we have the crochet hook out, I am going to show you how to reduce as well. So now we're back on this side. What you want to do, and it is a little fiddly, is we'll do it on this end just because it's a bit clearer to see. So to reduce, what you want to do is make sure the pin is lifting up that you want to reduce. Sorry, that's Rocket doing his thing. And simply, it's easier said than done. You want and I'm just going to plonk my crochet hook in there. And what you want to do is loop this onto this pin. It definitely is easier if you have it on a loose attention, but that's how. So there you go, you know how to reduce, you know how to add stitches. These are the stitches we've added over here, and as you can see here is where we've joined these together. To cast off is very, very similar. I do actually have a video on this already, which I use circular knitting needles. How I'd recommend doing it, and I'm not going to cast this off because I'm not going to use this piece. It's really, really similar to what you would do normally. So loosen your yarn. I'm not going to cut mine because I do want to actually use this wool for something else. Put it in the middle and you'll simply loosen your stitches then put your circular needles through every single hole and then cast off normally. So once you've loosened your stitches what you can do is use a circular needle and just pick up all these loops and then cast off normally. And that is the neatest way. It does, it's a little time consuming just because you've got to wiggle the needle through, but it's the easiest way. And you can also just pop them off like this. And if you're very quick and very good at not losing the stitches, you can simply thread your needle through. Or if you've done a couple of extra rows with waste yarn, you can just simply loop your needle through. But there you go, that is what panel, knit panel knitting looks like. Yes, I'd recommend using waste yarn because you do get loose ends and the cast off is a little messy otherwise, especially if you're trying to do it on the machine. But I will put the video in the cards and below to how to cast off on circular needles with the Centro Knitting Machine. If you like this video, make sure you hit subscribe and give it a like, and I'll see you in the next one.